According to Defensa, the Brazilian Army has recently advanced the deployment schedule for the MSS 1.2 AC anti tank missile, initially set for 2024, to an earlier date. This move parallels the reorganization of the Boa Vista Cavalry Squadron into the 18th Mechanized Cavalry Regiment, 18th RC Mech. Notably, this decision was made before the completion of the final report on the missile's equipment tests. This action is a strategic measure to bolster the defense capabilities of the state of Roraima, particularly against specific threats such as the 92T-72B1 tanks operated by the Venezuelan army. It reflects a response to identified vulnerabilities in the region's current defense setup. In parallel, representatives from the Army General Staff are preparing to engage in discussions with the management of SIAT about potential new orders for the missile system. This indicates a continued interest in the MSS 1.2 AC anti-tank missile. Trials conducted in Rio de Janeiro at the Army Evaluation Center, CAX, with the involvement of the Army's Technological Center, CTX, have validated the missile's capacity to target objects up to 2,000 meters away, and potentially as far as 3,000 meters. The missile's efficacy has been likened to that of the American Javelin missile, which Brazil authorized for sale in 2022. The urgency of deploying the MSS 1.2 AC in Roraima is influenced by the broader context of limited global availability of such weapons and the geopolitical situation on Brazil's northern border, specifically the Venezuela-Guyana conflict over the Essequibo region. The 18th Mechanized Cavalry Regiment, comprising three cavalry squadrons and one command and support squadron, is set to be among the first units equipped with the missile. Their armored vehicles will be relocated from other regions of Brazil to Roraima. Developed by SIATT, a Brazilian company, the MSS-1. Two anti-tank missile originated from a collaboration between Oteo Malara, Italy, and Engisa, Brazil, initially named the Missile Anticaro della Fanteria, MAF, in 1985. After undergoing several transformations and a prolonged development phase, it was formally integrated into service in 2009. Equipped with a two-stage solid fuel propulsion system, the MSS 1.2 has an effective range of up to 3.2 kilometers. It is versatile, usable by infantry and light armored vehicles, and can serve in anti-aircraft roles against helicopters. The missile's 3.2 kilograms shaped charge warhead containing HMX explosive, can penetrate up to 530 mm of rolled homogeneous armor equivalency, ray, and has demonstrated its ability to breach concrete in testing. Distinguished by its unique reloadable box launcher, which is a departure from the more prevalent disposable launch tubes found in other ATGMs, the MSS 1.2 semi-active laser guidance system enhances its precision over long distances. Additionally, the missile can operate without guidance, maintaining a straight trajectory until self-destructing if necessary.